Hi, this is a video about pet grief. I'd hope that this newest video that I have added, and I haven't added one in quite a long time, I'd hope that this video would be more upbeat, more positive. But I can't really ignore this because um, I think grief is very uh, normal, but I think it's something that our society tends to run away from. And I think other societies do nurture people who are grieving, but ours tends to kind of, um, well, not necessarily lend a hand, put it that way. And we more or less tell people, get on with it. And especially if it's your cat. Dogs may be a little more understandable to some people, but the, there's, there's a large segment that really, really doesn't like cats. So I'm not part of that. And um, if you do not like cats, you will not like this video. So I'm going to talk about my cat and how we lost her. Um, <clears throat> this is very, you know, I mean, I think it's really important that we not push our grief down. Um, I've had many different people in my family die, and I've been through grief several times. So to me, it's just one of those things that if I don't go through it, um, I keep pushing it down, it's not healthy. So I'm doing these videos to hopefully help people who are also going through the same very painful process. And it's also a very human process. So I just believe deep within myself that there's something about my life that needs to help people who are grieving. Um, so I'm going to make this video and uh, and hope that it helps some people. Here goes my clock, so. Okay, <clears throat> so our cat, Blueberry, was diagnosed with chronic kidney disease. And I believe it was about a year and a half ago. So when we got the diagnosis, um, we were told that she, well, her potassium was low, and we um, we began to have to give her fluids twice a week. And so we took her to the veterinary clinic. Well, a lot of people can do this at home. You can do this at home. You can bring the the um, the fluids, the bag of fluids home, and you can do it yourself. Perhaps it's easier that way, and a, a lot of people say it is. I am just one of those people who I, I couldn't bring myself to stick her with a needle and do that at home myself. So we took her to the vet's office. At first it was three times a week, and then it went down to twice a week, which thankfully, that was a little less traumatic for everybody involved. Although it was very, very difficult for Blueberry because she was suffering. So um, she was on the fluids, then she got another infection and she had to be on a medication for that. So we gave her that medication and then we gave her another medication and she was holding steady with those things. And um, I thought, you know, she's not looking great, she's thin, she's getting thinner, and she's less active, she's sleeping a lot. So we've been through this with a cat before, but that cat um, named Isis, actually, um, she, she had cancer, so it was a completely different situation. 
CKD, on the other hand, is, um, I think, fairly common in older cats. So um, our situation is very much like thousands of other people who have been through it before. So anyway, she was holding, you know, she was holding her own. And then about two weeks ago, um, her eye was filled with blood. And, you know, it was very shocking. It was very, very shocking. <laughs> you know, because, I mean, she was a beautiful cat. Nothing physical, nothing that looked wrong, except she was a little underweight. But all of a sudden, there's this really, really horrible-looking eye with blood in it. So we took her to the vet, and the vet told us that her blood, red blood platelets were low. So then we would have to put her on prednisone and then bring the red blood platelets up. So we were out of town for a few days, and we left her at the clinic during that time because we knew she'd get good care there. And so uh, they released her, and we picked her up on Thursday, and she seemed to be fine. Not fine, you know, but I mean, as fine as she could be. So after a couple of days of giving her prednisone and <clears throat> and this other med that I can't, right now my mind is going blank, I'm sorry. Um, giving her two pills and giving her the other medicine that we were giving her anyway. So anyway, it was it was not an easy thing to be giving her all these meds. Um, by Saturday, she started to sneeze. And I thought, well, here we go. She's got something. And so on Monday, she was due for a regular exam at the vet's office to have her blood work done. She, she was 16, by the way. A 16-year-old Abyssinian is a fairly old Abyssinian. So anyway, um, we took her in, I took her in on Monday, and they said, well, her blood work isn't bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. So um, the problem was she gained a ha lost a half a pound in a week. So... It seemed to me that she was shutting down even worse than she had before. And so I, as her human, had to make a humane decision, which to me now seems callous and, frankly, bad. See, this is a stage of of grief that I'm in because I feel like I, I made a bad decision. But the vet said, no, you're not making a bad decision. Um, he'd been treating her since she was a kitten, so he, he was rather broken up about it. He didn't want to put her down either, but he said, you've done everything that you can do. <sighs> the issue was when they took her, if they took her off the prednisone, then her red blood platelets would go down again, and then we'd be in this cycle of up and down and up and down, and the fluids and all the other meds. So she looked at me, and I looked at her, and she said, Mom, I don't feel good. And at that point, I knew that it was time. So he, they gave us plenty of time to make up our minds, my husband came. And um, my one son was on FaceTime, actually. and We couldn't reach my other son because he was asleep. Um, he works weird hours, so he was asleep. That was kind of tragic, really. But I just knew it was time to say goodbye. So that gave her the general anesthesia, which was very mellow. I was very, very grateful for that. 
and then gave her the shot. And within 10 minutes, she was, she was out. So we decided to have her cremated, which we didn't do with our other cat. We, we brought her home and buried her in the backyard. That was really hard. So there's no decision that's easy, really. There's no decision that's easy when you're dealing with this. So we got our ashes on Friday and the pet crematory sent us this poem with her box of ashes and some other information, which was really helpful. I thought they were very good. So here's the poem and it's called the Rainbow Bridge, which probably everybody knows this poem, but I wasn't as familiar with. It's not really a poem, it's just, it's prose, but it's very, very good for anybody who's grieving for a pet. It says, just the sight of heaven is a place called Rainbow Bridge. When an animal dies that has been especially close to someone here, that pet goes to Rainbow Bridge. There are meadows and hills for all of our special friends so they can run and play together. There is plenty of food, water, and sunshine, and our friends are warm and comfortable. All the animals who have been ill and old sorry, are restored to health and vigor. Those who are hurt or maimed are made whole and strong again, just as we remember them in our dreams of days and times gone by. The animals are happy and content, except for one small thing. They each miss someone very special to them, who had to be left behind. They all run and play together, but the day comes when one suddenly stops and looks into the distance. His bright eyes are intent, his eager body quivers. Suddenly he begins to run from the group. Flying over the green grass, his legs carrying him faster and faster. You have been spotted, and when you and your special friend finally meet, you cling together in joyous reunion, never to be parted again. The happy kisses rain upon your face. Your hands caress, caress the beloved head, and you look once more into the trusting eyes of your pet, so long gone from your life, but never absent from your heart. Then you cross the rainbow bridge together. I'm sorry. It's... So there goes my phone and it's time to end the video. So thank you. Thank you and, and subscribe. Thanks.